Hi, I'm Myung Wan Woo from Samsung Electronics. The topic of my presentation today is a rethinking distributed storage system architecture for fast storage devices. This talk mainly covers the performance challenges of the reliable distributed, distributed storage system, SAP, but uh, these optimization techniques are I'm going to introduce are not only related to the SAP. It can be commonly applicable to other distributed storage systems which support strong constancy. Uh, concisely, I will share the challenges existing distributed storage system face and several ideas to overcome such challenges. First, I will begin by introducing myself. I'm Myung I have almost 10 years of experience for distributed storage system and system software. Currently, I'm more I'm focusing on developing a flash optimized uh, distributed storage system. And we, Samsung, unlike before, are making great effort to contribute to the open source storage community uh, with sharing our knowledge and experiences. SAP is one of such cases. Uh, we joined the SAP Foundation and became one of one of premier member of SAP and has been contributing features such as DR, DDU, and uh, new store design to achieve performance improvement with uh, MVME devices. Uh, moving on to the next slide, the first topic I'm going to talk about here is uh, background and motivation. Uh, the storage device has been evolved uh, for last decade. So in the meantime, the performance bottleneck has been shipped from storage itself to storage software, software stack. I will describe the performance result when the storage cluster is equipped with uh, MVME storage and explain the current IO path to process IO requests. Second, I will introduce a new design for the fast storage devices. It is built uh, based, on, based on the two ideas. The, the, the lightweight data store is designed to reduce, reduce CPU cycles and prioritize thread control will be introduced to minimize performance degradation. So, a new store, the new storage trend, MVM fabric uh, enables fast access to remote MVM devices. Uh, and this enables a disaggregation of storage from, from the computer servers. Using MVM of fabric and our own reference storage array, I would like to show you how to show our ongoing project about a new replication scheme which can upload our replication processing to the, to the underlying stories. Let's move on uh, background and motivation. <clears throat> the right figure shows SAP architecture. Uh, SAP is one of the most popular distributed storage system. Uh, as I said right before, I will discuss a new design based on SAP. Uh, before beginning to introduce the proposal, uh, I will briefly describe the key concept of SAP. Uh, basically, SAP provides a unified interface supporting object, block, and files. This is because the core library called Lados is located at the bottom of the three interfaces. Although the three interfaces have, have different characteristics regarding reliability requirements, Lados is uh, strict to provide strong constancy to solve 
to serve a reliable storage service. As a result, it can serve not only block service, which demands uh, strong consistency, but also object and file services. SAP's philosophy is that reliability is the most important aspect of, of storage. So SAP makes every write durable, even if such, such behavior leads to higher latency and more operation to write, write the request. For example, to make the write durable and maintain a consistency copy across the replicas, uh, SAP adapts a primary backup replication, which is synchronous and adding log to enable cross, cross constancy. To serve a variety of storage service, SAP process is composed of a monitor, MGR, and OSD. Uh, I will mainly focus on the main IO paths uh, involving between OSD and user because other paths are nothing to do with the main IO paths. Due to the characteristics of ZAP, uh, constancy and correctness are more important things than others. So the performance has always been the main challenging issue in ZAP. The figure shows the sequential and random I/O performance on three three node SAP cluster with replication factor of two. As shown in the fig, as shown in the graph, SAP's sequential I/O performance is good enough to fully centralize the network bandwidth, but uh, the random I/O performance, especially random write performance, is quite low. This result seems like old material, but still, random write performance is a challenging of SAP, of SAP to be uh, served. Moreover, this is not solely a problem of SAP. Other distributed storage systems has been suffered from such uh, performance challenges because they also use the common IO pass on the operating system. In order to find the root cause of low random, low random performance, we analyze self IO pass in detail. Then prototype three, three thread models, baseline, run to completion, and other performance model to figure out where the overhead comes from. Let me walk through them in detail. First, uh, the figure shows the baseline right IO path of SAP with uh, replication factor of two. Now in both primary OSD and secondary OSD, there is a messenger thread for handling network, network protocol and PG thread for handling PG processing, replication, and object store. When receiving the right request, uh, the primary OSD prepares a replication request to send it uh, the secondary OSD via PG and replication processing. Then it writes a transaction to, to, to the back, back end store and then forward it for the replication request to the replica simultaneously. Uh, after the secondary OSD completes the uh, replication request, it sends X to the primary OSD. The, pro the primary OSD ensure, ensures if all IOs are finished, if so, it, replica, uh, it replies to the responsible response message to the client. After that, uh, the right request is end. Uh, in a few words, as you can see in the figure, there are multiple context switch overhead to process a single right request.
To understand the overhead, we modified SEP OSB threading models uh, by changing the existing models from baseline to run to completion. As you can see in the figure, in run to completion, one thread performs all tasks, uh, all tasks uh, to process the right request in the OSD, uh, including the post, -process, post processing, which happens after receiving an act from the replica. Compared to the baseline, we think we can eliminate the context switch overhead by uh, adapting this model uh, because run to completion entails a local, a locality which has positive effects on the system. In addition, to see, uh, to see the ideal performance when there is uh, only that was stack overhead, we revamped we bump uh, ZAPS OSD to do nothing to store the object. So only network protocol processing does exit. We uh, does exist. We call this uh, null test. If the secondary OSD receives the, the right request from the primary OSD, it just replies uh, the response immediately without storing the data. The primary OSD works similarly. It returns an X uh, to, to the client as soon as receiving the reply. Uh, please note that primary OSD sends uh, the replication request to the to secondary OSD based on stored map information. So in the null test, we can see nearly optimal latency reduction as well as the reduced CPU consumption. In order to see uh, the performance improvement and CPU usage reduction effect, the following experimental environment was used for evaluation. Uh, we configure SAP to use uh, two messenger threads and two PG thread in storage layer while pinning them on four physical cores. Please note that we configure the SAP cluster to use limited resources to eliminate other interference factors. Uh, there are three results showing IOPS and latency and CPU usage. Uh, as explained before, we compare the baseline with uh, the two modified version of SAP. As shown in the figures, uh, in the in the original case, each node shows CPU usage of. 346% uh, while achieving 29k IOPS in total. The CPU consumption is too high for such low performance. Um, higher IOPS per core is the key to exploit the full potential of the storage node. So that is to say IOPS needs to be highly optimized uh, while, while reducing CPU consumption. Um, on the other hand, compared to, compared to original, the simple RTC model achieves slight, slightly better performance at lower CPU cycle. But uh, it still shows uh, low performance compared to the null test. Performance improvement is quite small because uh, synchronous I.O. blocks other I.O.s. The result of the null test shows nearly 130k IOPS. So this implies that it is required to 
have an effective threat control scheme to prevent having a long critical section. And there is a table showing a right replication during a small random light. Uh, as shown in the figure, a small, light, small random light makes severe right amplification, although the user writes the data of 42 gigabytes with two replication. The data stores, uh, data stores records um, the, the amount of 120 gigabytes in total. From the experimental results, we have identified problems that exist uh, in conventional distributed storage system architecture. First, current object store design, such as uh, log structure, data layout, data partition, uh, this uh, improvement to reduce high CPU usage and wide application. Second, in efficient threading architecture, which makes uh, multiple context switching also need uh, improvement with uh, maintaining the score, uh, strong constancy. Finally, there are a lot of, lot of, job, lot of works in a single server node, such as network IoT dispatching, replication IO handling. So we need to make it uh, simple. Let's see the key ideas to solve the performance limitation. First, I will discuss the application managed uh, data store based on hybrid updates, hybrid update strategies. In the meantime, log, log structure based solution has been widely in use uh, because it has benefits of fresh friendly, right procedure and transaction support. But it requires inevitable garbage collection due to uh, the, the log structure, which leads to an additional IO application. Similarly, log structure, based, log structure merge tree based DB also inherits the drawback of log structure scheme. So we have tried, we have tried to improve conventional IO procedure to make it suitable for modern storage devices. Second, locality aware prior, prior tire thread control will be introduced to remove the context switch overhead. We should minimize the context switching overhead, which results from uh, lack of awareness of fast IO procedure in uh, reliable distributed distributed storage system. Uh, Sir, so I will introduce our ongoing work to further reduce, reduce uh, CPU consumption caused by the application processing using embryo of fabric. Using the benefits of embryo of fabric, we add a new fault domain and exploit it to process embryo of fabric. Next, <clears throat> I'd like to talk about the Blue Store, which is the default backend store of SAP. Blue Store serves uh, the, the existing limitation of the file store, which was the backend store prior to Blue Store. For example, we can avoid the uh, double write in case the, la the, the, the write is large and build on, on OSD or ID friendly disk layout to look up uh, the object first. By delegating a lot of jobs to, to, to LuxDB, it provides fast lookup because it periodically merges all entries and make on, makes on arrangement for searching the object. But uh, in modern storage system with MVME, LuxDB can uh, become a performance bottleneck. LuxDB requires period periodic uh, compaction process consuming like excessive CPU cycles. 
and it may block the critical ongoing IO procedure. Also, there are many MVME devices in a single server node, which makes that situation worse because uh, there are there are they need uh, to be one last instance per device. The overhead, the overhead I explained is not new. Uh, it is a well-known issue. As a result, uh, the Blue Store, which rely on LuxDB, face uh, unpredicted challenges. It incurs write application and CPU overhead. Plus, uh, since Blue Store treats LuxDB as a black box, uh, unnecessary data copy and serialization, deserialization overhead occur. To overcome such challenges, um, we propose a lightweight data store mainly for SAP. Uh, it's designed for only for MVM and MVME SSDs by using hybrid update strategy and removing LSM tree to store the, the data. CPU consumption can be reduced even if it induces more device-side GC than before. On top of that, we are going to make use of one, one of the MVME features called Atomic Magic Write Command uh, to minimize app sync overhead for durable life. In addition, it supports uh, transactions and Charlie data processing models. This slide shows the overview of our design. Two update schemes are like in place and out of place coexist similar to Blue Store, but we minimize any additional IOs via underlying in-place store partition and use pre-allocation technique to uh, minimize the updates on metadata. Also, we exploit MVM as a metadata person's cache. As a result, the number of IOs caused by the write request can be minimized. Since we should ensure uh, crash constancy, we have three options to support the crash, the crash risk constancy. The options are WAR or loud structure or cow. Among them, we have chosen a WAR because it requires a small and reusable data partition compared to other methods. So it can be placed on MVM. The point is that the WAR and metadata section located on the MVM can reduce unnecessary plus uh, to the underlying store by using uh, its person's characteristic. Metadata section contains uh, recent key value plus key value data representing the metadata of the, the object like inode in EXT. When the write comes in storage support node, all data, all data, including the metadata, are treated as an object. And the data yeah, with this metadata will be appended at the wall in an out of place manner. At this point, uh, depending on the data, data size, small data, small data will be written on the wall. Otherwise, large data will be written to the data partition directory. Then the metadata is appended to the world. After appending the data to the world, it overrides uh, the object in the world to the data partition in in place manner with the uh, atomic write command. If we apply, if we, if we applied pre allocation technique here, only the portion of the data is needed to be flushed. So not only durable data is guaranteed with uh, low overhead, 
border. So right amplification can be minimized. Here is the, the on disk layout. We divide the entire data space into several partitions based on thread control I will explain the next, next, next section. Each storage cassette can handle a sharded partition to remove unnecessary context switching and lag overhead. Uh, however, but uh, using a static partition pro probably raises uh, load balancing issues. Uh, we leave this as a future work. The advantage of proposed design is uh, it can mitigate IO application. The slide compares uh, right application for the best case and worst case. In the case of best scenario, two rights are enough to insert data durability, although it cannot always can guarantee the best case. At least uh, we can control the right right uh, const constantly. That topic is thread control. As shown in the previous experiment, the context switch overhead and long write paths to commit the right, right operation are the reason why the performance degradation happens. We could have solved uh, this problem by or round completion, but we should consider the ordering issue. A uh, storm constant system requires the sequence of IO operation called the order. If an IO operation starts before the previous operation finishes, it may break, it may break uh, constancy. So to maintain the storm constancy, I operation finishes, I should finish it after the, after the data is committed to the storage device at the secondary OSS. If we apply the run to complete model here, the next I operation should wait until the I, the I operation finishes. It creates the huge latency. So we have decided we have decided uh, to solve this problem by, by decoupling solid processing from the current path. When processing I.O., there could be two types of job. Uh, first is the latency critical jobs, such as message changing and replication processing. These jobs are essential for completing the operation. So, Completing them in, in the early stage helps a lot in improving performance. Second is best effort jobs, such as uh, storage processing, as it induces context switching. Uh, decoupling it from the, from the uh, critical path and processing it separately would help uh, reduce the overhead that comes from it. Thus, we could leverage it to store the log data personally with uh, MVM and MVMM or GSSD. And client could get IO completion, completion message without waiting for the storage processing. These jobs are prioritized and differ in how they schedule. For example, a latency critical job is pinned uh, to the to a dedicated core to avoid interference. Uh, in contrast, non-priority threads are non-priority threads share uh, the, the remain cores, and each of them uh, processes the different logical group. Putting them all together, um, our proposed architecture processes on um, I.O. with um, much less latency and CPU consumption. As the, as the data is persist uh, in the in-memory log, 
the secondary OSD can send the comment message while asynchronously writing data to the uh, storage device. It shortens uh, completion time a lot and results in reduced latency. Since lightweight store, data store, we continue to store uh, of the, the object data at low cost. As a result, the entire write procedure is pipeline with ensuring constancy at low cost. This is the performance result of our design in random write workload. We, pro we prototyped our design based on staff. Uh, our, pro our approach can achieve more than four times higher LPS. Uh, when it comes to CPU utilization, almost all the cores are utilized in the, for, in the proposed architecture. It seemed weird, uh, as we said, uh, as we say that we reduce CPU consumption, but this is because um, proposed design achieve higher IOPS per core than original. Now, um, I'd like to introduce the third topic we are currently working on working in search and prototyping. MVMA for fabric uh, enables fast access to remote MVMe devices over high-speed networks. This enables disaggregation of stories from the computer server. Uh, storage disaggregation helps uh, reduce, the, reduce the total cost of investment in the data center with uh, independent resource scaling. It can also improve uh, storage utilization efficiency by sharing storage targets uh, among multiple storage nodes. Regarding this promising technology, we are developing a MVME or fabric basis storage solution, which can be used as a uh, storage target. The application processing is heavy, heavy CPU consumption consuming because all replica nodes are involved. Mm. MVMe fabric splits a single fourth domain, which contains compute, compute and storage domain into compute and storage domain respectively. Respectively. So, if the compute nodes fails. Uh, the system continues to serve IO requests from the con from the con from the clients. Our third idea is to offload replication processing to the MVM of fabric uh, base basis uh, MVM of fabric basis storage solution. Uh, this idea assumes the storage solution that support, supports logical groups and volume mirroring across other storage solutions. With replication uploading, OSD doesn't have to handle replication, so the storage nodes, storage node size CPU UCD will be reduced. But even if OSD doesn't process the replication, it needs to know where the, da where the data is mirrored for the recovery process. That is to say, we need complement functions to cover such replication schemes. The figure below, the figure below illustrates uh, the compaction between the current SAP architecture and our post-post architecture with replication uploading. With stories, with stories distribution, I explained. 
Computing and Story Z can be divided into two different independent fault domains. Any OST can access any OST as long as they are all connected to the same local network. So as shown in the figure, we have two different cluster maps to be referenced when locating data. Let's see uh, how this works. For computing fault domain, it doesn't it doesn't differ much from the current current self architecture. Using the cross algorithm, uh, we can get a set of OSDs for a placement group. But um, our idea differ that differs that the first OSD is used as an active primary and other OSD act uh, as passive backups. The primary OSD works as if a replication factor is one so that it doesn't send replication requests to the backup OSDs. The other backup OSDs are only used when the primary phase we will see in a few slides. For storage for domain, we use crush again for diff with different input and cross the map. Primary OSD ID is used as the input so that backup OSD can get the same set of OSTs. The first OST is used as a main target. Uh, at uh, initializer setup, each primary OSD sends volume create request to the to a set of OSTs so that it has a logical volume logical volume having a same volume name containing the primary OSD ID. These logical volumes are set to mirroring. Then primary OSD mounts the main volume. After initial initialization, the primary OSD can access the mounted volume like a local disk. The crush algorithm is only required when the target OSD does not respond. When the primary OSD fails and the new OSD takes the role of primary, the volume rename is required. The normal IO pass does not need to be modified much. Uh, the primary OSD works as a replication factor one. So it only forms IOs to the mounted OST volume without initiating replication. In, the, in case of a primary OSD failure, secondary OSD can become a temporarily primary. For the, for the example below, <clears throat> OSD7 becomes the temporary primary. OSD7 can know uh, the primary OSD ID for, for the given PG by using crush with the uh, OSD cross map. Thus, we can get a set of OSTs for the primary OSD, a primary OSD ID. Finally, OSD7 can mount the main OSD volume and continue to serve IO request. In case of a main OSD failure, where the mounted, mounted OSD volume cannot be accessed, the, the primary OSD can mount the secondary OST's mirrored volume. For the example below, OST 0 can mount the target OST volume and continue 
and continue to serve uh, serving IO request. Uh, it's time to wrap up. So in summary, the distributed storage system architecture needs to be redesigned to fully exploit high performance storage devices. Uh, aiming to reduce CPU overhead, we propose the lightweight, uh, lightweight IO architecture. So, and uh, we are trying to contribute this uh, to SAP. Uh, you will see, you will see our work at the public repository of on SAP. And as part of efforts to make flash device more attractive to enterprise and data centers, there are several items we are working on contributing to the SAP community. Here is our contribution. Uh, we are keep going, we will keep going on contributing our work to make the reference story architecture for MBME storages. That's it. Thanks for listening.